Hi, this video is a quick tour of different visualizations that have been made of the Chelyabinsk meteorite as it's streaked across the sky on February 15th. So first I have the uh, Czech trajectory, then I also have a NASA trajectory, and then I have four trajectories by the Colombian team, including a best fit trajectory, a minimum trajectory, a medium trajectory, and a maximal trajectory. As you can see, they all land somewhere beyond Mias and beyond Lake Chabarko, where a piece of the meteorite was found. Chelyabinsk is here. So what's interesting with these uh, trajectories now is that we can go back and look at the videos um, of, these, of the meteorite and, meteoroid and see uh, how well it compares. So I've placed some of these in Google Earth now, uh, including, for example, the first one, which is the one from Revolution Square in Chelyabinsk. Um, this one doesn't actually have any view of the trajectories, but if you exit the photo, you can visually check that the shadows do indeed match with um, the meteorite as it traveled across the sky. The second one is in Privox Alnaya Square. Um, here again, you can see by playing, using the uh, slider here, you can compare the, uh, the view with the view in the video. And if you exit this photo and look at the shadows, you can see that indeed the shadows went from left to right as the meteorite traveled across the sky. A third one is interesting for, it's the uh, marketplace in Corquino. Here the meteorite streaked almost exactly across uh, above uh, the zenith. And here you can see again, this is the marketplace and you can see that line there. Um, it's, it matches quite closely with the different trajectories. A uh, fourth one, these, these four ones were used by the Colombian team for their calculations, is uh, from Kamensk-Goralski, the main square there, about 170 kilometers north of Chelyabinsk. And here you can see that again, these trajectories match quite closely. From this far away, it's actually very difficult to uh, distinguish between the different trajectories. They all have the same angle of attack or nearly the same angle of attack. Um, they do differ a little bit in that their azimuth or their direction changes over time. So you can see that, for example, if you look down the line, you can see that they have slightly different angles. Now, if you um, go to Mias, this is interesting because here, this is where they diverge the most. So you actually have several more viewpoints, these viewpoints here. And because of that, you imagine, as you can imagine, um, there is a big divergence in the different trajectories. So if you click on this one, for example, and travel into a view from uh, near a plant in Mias, as you can see here, uh, if we turn this on, um, from this perspective, you actually get to see that the trajectory seems to have changed. So there's an initial trajectory, then a huge explosion, and then a change in the trajectory to something that is a slightly more a steep angle uh, going towards Earth. So if you compare this to the different calculated trajectories, you could say that some of them seem to be more accurate for the first half and others seem to be more accurate for the second half. Although it's difficult to precisely position these videos, so it's difficult to exactly say or have any kind of real input as to which of these is uh, more accurate. Another one, um, a road near Mias, is kind of interesting because this one was very accurately placed. As you can see from the background, it actually fits quite nicely. And here, if you look at uh, these two, uh, the trajectories in that line, it again fits quite nicely with some of the uh, calculated trajectories. A third one, this one is really interesting because here we are really below the trajectory uh, and as you can see they diverge completely and that has to do I think because that this location is almost exactly head on to the direction of where the meteorite was traveling to so um, you can see that almost the, the first part would have been here and then the explosion here and then maybe they even traveled a little bit something like that closer to the earth uh, in front of us so as you can see the trajectories completely converge here um, and I think that's going to be an interesting picture to see which of these um, is most accurate in as, as more of these videos show up. And then uh, another one, uh, also interesting, this one uh, was also almost exactly underneath the uh, path. And here you can see this, uh, the trajectory, the uh, meteorite was falling like this so that it fits quite accurately with the uh, trajectories as they were calculated. Uh, finally, one more, the final one, is this view of the house. This house is right there in Google Earth. If you fly out of it, you can see it. And here again, you can see that this uh, vertical line fits quite closely with the view from there. If you exit, you can see that this it's precisely this house, including with the, the different white roofs and so on. So that's a quick view 
of the different directories uh, as seen from different locations near Chelyabinsk. Hope you liked it.